Hello, my name's Jim Hickey. I'm a uh, senior tour guide here at the O State House Museum. We want to welcome you to today's event. And if you notice, we are in the 1836 House of Representatives Chamber. And my name is Scott Moy. I'm also a tour guide here at the Old State House Museum, and we'd like to welcome you to another edition of Conversations in the Gallery at the Old State House Museum. And we can't forget the role of the river. Exactly. Um, also, in 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 this entire story, if you're going to plant a city up here, you've got to have transportation in and out. I think it was it wasn't until 1829. Uh, give me a you know, a little bit on that date, but it was in the late 1820s when they finally finished a, a military road. Uh, Arkansas is full of military roads yeah. between here and Memphis. Memphis yeah. Right. That, that was the um, main road. But yeah. uh, it would take you, I guess if you left today, you would get there in about five years because it was a <laughs> terrible road. Um, and so the river is going to be key yes. uh, to being sure that if this, once this becomes a state capital, that we can get, you know, transportation in here. Um, but the Arkansas River was an absolute horror in the uh, 1800s, really up until probably 1880, 1890. It was just uh, uh, in the early days, it, it, in some places, it really was just basically a swamp. They called it a drainage ditch. Yeah, they did. They were trying to be nice and called it, it a drainage ditch. It was a drainage ditch. ditch. Yeah. And uh, I mean, we literally have that phrase in some of the early, some, yeah. some of the early writings. Yeah. Yeah. And what that what that means is that in places it just simply wasn't wide enough to to do much with. Uh, it was grown up with um, all sorts of snags, river snags and, and things like that. Notoriously undependable. And so that is actually going to lay a foundation in a way to sort of inhibit the growth of the city in the early days. Um, but they kind of keep working with it. And I think in the 1830s and 1840s, when we we're going to get a lot of the early steamboats up and down the river mm -hmm. that are going to open up these snag areas and, and, and yeah, so in fact, and in fact, uh, Arkansas received many, uh, many grants from the federal government to try to clear the snags out of the Arkansas river to enhance trash transportation. Mm -hmm. And that was a constant challenge because the Arkansas river, the way it flows is the only way you can really navigate it thoroughly is during the flood, the flood season. Uh, when the flood season had passed, you literally, you just had pockets of water and it, it, it prohibited yeah. the, uh, the transportation up and down, up and down the river. And when uh, the territorial governor, Miller, uh, made his way up to, to Little Rock, uh, they had to use the keel boats. This is fascinating. This part is fascinating to me. I was reading about it. They uh, had to uh, cordell him. I believe that's the pronunciation of the word. Cordell. They cordelled the, the keel boats up mm -hmm. to Arkansas Post. And then from Arkansas Post, of course, he's going to make the jump on up to what's going to become Little Rock or is Little Rock at that point. But what's interesting about the river is in order to cordell, they're basically pulling these keel boats right. with ropes along the river bank. And that tells you a lot about the river at that point. Mm -hmm. There must have been vast stretches where the river was not very wide. Uh, and vast stretches of the river um, on the bank that would have been clear enough for mm -hmm. them to use mm -hmm. that rope pulling True. technique uh, to get him up here. Uh, so, um, but then after that, I'm not sure exactly whether they just paddled him up here or what with those keel boats. But. Well, it was, you just hit patches and mo most of the time major travel really was restricted unless you went to the flood season. And, yeah. and that's, that was basically about it. But that set the pattern for Little Rock, who selected as the capital. And then, you know, if we want to kind of move, well, how was the site selected here uh, for for our current capital or the old state house uh, that we have today? Uh, a couple a couple of reasons that was here is that, in, you know, uh, in 1829, Andrew Jackson uh, points uh, 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 Pope as, as uh, territorial governor. And uh, he had been a senator from Kentucky and he came here to Arkansas and it was his his idea. Uh, he knew Arkansas was going to become a state, so he wanted to go ahead and begin laying the foundation for our capital. And so slight selection was very important. And uh, the area that was selected here for the Oste House Museum, there are a couple of big uh, benefits. One is next to the river. Second is on the high bluff. Right. The memory was called the Little Rock Bluff. But uh, early on, there was when this site was selected, there was some 
some myths and that existed that, well, some of the population didn't really want this site selected because they thought that perhaps it had been a Native American burial ground. And that's a myth that exists. We don't have any records on hand that says so, but that concept existed. And in some of the texts that if you read it, it say that Governor Pope said, well, we'll put up a memorial uh, for the uh, burial ground. But of course, nothing ever, ever materialized. But anyway, this site was selected simply because it was on a high rise bluffs, beautiful location, beautiful view of the river. Two great bends come in and out. Anyone uh, that would traverse the river, the first thing they would say would be this beautiful capital. Thanks for joining us today for conversations in the gallery at the Old State House Museum. Be sure and check out our Facebook page. Uh, check out our website at uh, theoldstatehouse.com. And also check out our YouTube channel for more incredible conversations and great videos about the history of Arkansas and the history of the Old State House Museum. Right. Thank you.